There has been a lot of talk recently about the invasion of the cicadas this year. <laughs> so many of them going to be in our yards, around us, around our pets. So the big question is, is this going to pose any danger to us? John is live looking into that scary thought today. John, good morning. Yeah. Good morning, Carlos. Yeah, veterinarians say for the most part, your pet's going to be safe around cicadas. But for the month or so when brood X surfaces and arrives, they say you should just watch your pets, especially if you're letting your dog out into the backyard and especially if you've got some trees in the backyard. Watch what they're doing, but veterinarians say you should be looking out, maybe not for the live cicadas. Before this noisy brood surfaces, veterinarians want you to know what to look out for. If you have a, a heavily wooded backyard, you're going to be the per you're going to be the yard where those things are going to gather. If you have nothing in your backyard but grass, you're unlikely to see them all. Dr. Jim Dagan with the Pet Wellness Clinic of Westfield says this once in every 17 year occurrence shouldn't be a big worry. I you know haven't been a veterinarian for almost 30 years. I do not ever remember a large cicada brood causing a big problem with pets. But he said they can cause some minor issues, not necessarily the live cicadas, but the skin they leave behind. Insect shells are made out of chitin, not easily to digest. You know, one or two is probably fine, 50 is probably not. The most likely problem there is just digestive upset, vomiting and diarrhea. And for most dogs, that would probably be it. We'll probably run into, you know, we could occasionally run into some cases where the dog ate so much and had enough digestive upset, he might require fluids and treatment by a veterinarian. But, you know, by and large, most of them will probably throw up and that'll be the end of it. And it's dogs that typically get into more trouble than cats. I suppose if you had a glutton of a cat um, and, and that cat went ahead and ate, ate a whole bunch of them, you might have a problem. Cats tend to be a little more picky and to play with things, probably not as likely to eat those things, where you get the average Labrador and he eats everyone he could find. Yeah, Dr. Dagan says, the, first of all, the chances of your dog actually catching and eating a live cicada, pretty slim. And even if they do, they don't have a stinger, they don't bite, and they're not gonna eat enough of them where it's an issue. The problem, once again, is those little shells you gotta watch out for, make sure there's not a pile you're your dog or even maybe, as he said, a, a hungry cat could, could get to, Carlos and Julia. Good information there, John. Thanks so much.